Hello guys, this is Abhishek. Uh, coming with a most interesting programming language that is called Swift language. Uh, today we're going to talk about the type aliases and uh, the boolean data types. Okay, uh, I hope uh, you know about the type aliases. What, uh, whenever, uh, what are the reasons why why we need to use the type aliases? Right. Okay. See, uh, here I'm creating my own type alias of uh, data type string. So you need to use the type alias. After that, your personal data type, my personal, and equal whatever the actual data type is. Okay. Now, if I want to uh, define a string variable, uh, then I can use my personal. Uh, as a data type. For example, suppose if my name, okay, my name of data type, my personal, okay. So my name equal Abhishek, okay. And suppose I am printing my name. My name is also printing the Abhishek. But suppose I am gonna assign my name is ten. Then it will throw an error. That uh, that means you cannot store the integer value in the personal string variable, right? Okay. The next one, that is the type. You can also use this type alias for the Unicode characters. Type alias. After that, Control Shift. Sorry, Control Command Shift. Uh, if the window doesn't come out, you can go to the edit and uh, select the special characters. Okay, uh, from the smileys, you can use whatever you want, right? There are lots of characters over here. See, I'm using other uh, the eyes, and uh, I'm gonna assign sorry, double. Okay, but now I'm using the integer value. So I'm using okay, double the capital D, and uh, after that uh, I would like to declare my variable called age is equals to sorry colon uh, the same Unicode characters that we have used. I'm using this one, and I'm assigning the values age equals this. Right? That means this is y data type and suppose uh, I'm gonna assign the string value on this it will not accept right guys okay uh, I hope you guys have understood uh, this the use of type alias is in Swift language now the second part that is the boolean data type as uh, usual now if you uh, have used the objective C language uh, you can assign the value uh, of a boolean uh, like uh, yes, no, true and false. But in the Swift language, you have only two values called true and false. Okay, you cannot use uh, like a uh, yes or uh, no, uh, just like Objective C. Okay, uh, let's declare a variable called status. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna assign it a boolean value, right? Okay, now I'm gonna assign uh, the value for yes. It throws an error. Okay, if I assign no, it also throws an error. Suppose I'm assigning the true, it accepts the true value, right? And uh, second thing, suppose I'm assigning the false value, it also accepts the false value, right? Uh, that means you have to. Uh, Manage these values uh, if you are practicing, uh, or if you use if you are using the Objective C language, that uh, uh, there is a little bit difficulties to use true and false. Okay, I'm sure uh, that is uh, that is not 
uh, big deal to use uh, true or false instead of yes or no. Right? Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Um, watch my next video. Thank you.